What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see here, we have a pool pond. And this is a pretty large pool pond. You're probably wondering, what are you doing with this pool pond? For a lot of you that wanted me to keep the bumblebee grouper and not give them away, we got this pool pond right here for our bumblebee grouper and all the other big fish in that aquarium because we're gonna make that aquarium a community tank. So now we're gonna have our predatory fish in the pool pond and then our community fish in the 200 gallon. Let's head inside. And for some of you that don't know my aquarium or even know me, I'm Nick Bingo, and this is my 220 gallon saltwater aquarium. Right in it, we have a bumblebee grouper, we have a panther grouper, we have two lionfish, a couple starfish, we got the little three amigos back there, and then we got some candy cane shrimp, and we got two eels, a puffer fish that's actually hiding right in the sand right there. And what else do we have in here? Just a bunch of, oh, our lobsters back there hanging out. You can see his little tentacles. And then we got our little shrimp all around climbing. And the shrimp, what the shrimp do is they clean the rocks, they clean the sand. We got snails, hermit crabs. So we got a bunch of fish in this tank. I'm gonna throw you guys back to when we got the bumblebee grouper and how small he was and how much he grew. It's absolutely insane. I mean, in two months, he got to this size. Here's the footage right now. Right above that is our bumblebee grouper. We are gonna be taking this guy home today. Look at this fish, it is insane. This fish is literally insane. They have three of them right now. Grouper right now. Look at the colors on this thing. We got our baby bumblebee all bagged up. Let's go. This fish is, oh my gosh, I can't get over this fish. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm gonna kiss. I'm gonna kiss it. I kissed it. Let's get home and put this guy in his tank. How you doing, baby? How you doing? We are back home with our bumblebee grouper. And he looks amazing. I can't wait to add him to the tank. Oh, he's kicking water. There he goes. Look at that fish. Holy crap. And he has all these caves to hide in. He's got flow. And he is just hanging out right now. Look at him. Wow, that's a beautiful fish. So it looks like he found his home right back in that little cave back there. He is a little frightened right now just because I did add him to his new aquarium. So he's going to be hanging out there for a little while. But anyways, as you can see, this fish is massive. And these fish get to a thousand pounds. They are the world's biggest grouper. Literally a thousand pounds. And he's probably, I would say, maybe a foot and a half right now. And then below him, we got our panther grouper, who also gets very big. So this pool pond is definitely going to come in handy. We're going to set it up. We're going to make it insane. At first, I was going to give him away to an aquarium place that has a massive aquarium. But a lot of you I saw in the comments were like, no, don't give him away, make a, pool, make a pond for him, make a pond for him. So I talked to a few buddies of mine and they're actually gonna come in, build a massive filter for the pool pond and make it like legit. Like this isn't gonna be like a little canister filter. It's gonna be a nice, nice filter we're gonna have on it with a sump and everything. But yeah, these fish grow massive. He gets up to, I think almost 40 pounds. He gets to a thousand pounds. This guy gets pretty big. The lionfish both get that big. So when we put these fish in the pool pond, with a lot more water and a lot more space, they're gonna grow a lot bigger. So what we're gonna do is once they're like this big, we're gonna be feeding them live jacks and live pilchards and live mullet. It's gonna be pretty crazy. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. So right here is the pool pond. And this right here is eight by five feet. A lot of you guys know Paul. And Paul has like four of these around his whole house. It's the same exact kind, the little, what would you call this, a rectangle, Davis? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so rectangle. yeah, little rectangle, and it's very, very large. I'm trying to see how much water it carries. I think it carries a thousand gallons, maybe a little more. I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, our pool pond right here is very large. And basically, we have a company called The Aquarium Shop. It's a new company. If you, I'm gonna have their link right down below. You guys gotta go check them out. They're very local to me. I'm in there all the time. And the guy, the owner, is awesome. Nicest guy I've ever met. Very nice employees. They pretty much have everything from corals to fish to invertebrates. So if you guys have a chance, stop by there. I promise you won't regret it. But anyways, back to the pool pond. They're gonna be coming in, setting up a whole sump filter, making it to where the pool pond and the fish are always healthy. They'll never have any problems. This is basically gonna be an aquarium, but in a pond. Just like you guys see the freshwater ponds we build, it's gonna be a saltwater pond. It's actually gonna be the first one on YouTube, a saltwater pool pond with big groupers and stuff like that. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So a lot of you are probably wondering, what are you gonna do with this tank when you get rid of these fish and put them in the saltwater pool pond? Well, actually, I think we're gonna do corals because my buddy Kevin, who's actually on the way right now, he sells corals, he grows them, and I think we're gonna deck this thing out and make it a coral reef tank with just a bunch of community fish. Now remember, this is a massive tank. This, if you come from the side over here, 
you'll actually see the width of it. So it goes from here to here. That's a good two and a half feet. It's very, very large. And our fish are actually hungry right now. We gotta get them some food. But yeah, that's what we plan on doing with this. It's gonna be insane. We're gonna be able to go out and catch our own little community fish, little angel fish. Cause where we live in Jupiter, there's a bunch of wildlife, bunch of sea life. And there's pretty exotic fish. As you can see, we caught the lionfish one time. We've caught in the little puffer fish. We've caught in the three amigos. We've caught in the coral banded shrimp. We even caught some arrow crabs. Once we set up this pool pond, if you guys wanna see Catching Invertebrates part two, as you guys know, popping up right here, you guys seem to love that video. So if you guys wanna see a part two and we'll actually restock this tank and we'll freaking load the saltwater pool pond with them because they are very beneficial to the aquariums and ponds. They clean the rocks, they clean the sand, they clean the glass. As you can see, I have two starfish back there and they're chocolate chip starfish. And what they do is they go along the glass. As you can see right now, they're actually on the back and they kind of eat the algae. They'll go through the sand they'll move it all around so it gets all the poop and all the bad stuff out of the sand but right here we got some algae and you you'll see once they come down here i never ever have to clean this tank off because of the the starfish and look we got our panther grouper they're pretty hungry let's see oh yeah they are hungry <laughs> look at the little lionfish come here bud oh ah! <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, I really never have to clean this glass. The only time I have to clean it is this side because of the sunlight that comes in. But other than that, the starfish kind of do the job and they get the job done. They're pretty good cleaners. Now, right back here for, for some of you that are new, if you're new to this channel, this is basically me just telling you, giving you a whole review on people that do know. You guys already know we got the bumblebee, the attraction to this tank. We got the little three amigos, like I said before. But this is something I think is so funny. This little puffer fish, Every time he goes to sleep and he'll sleep in the sand like he'll just if you can you see him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he'll bury himself in the mm -hmm. sand to make him warm because he'll get cold at night And he'll sit there and, and it's basically like protection. He feels like he's camouflaged in the sand He just has his eyes poke, poked out So I thought that was pretty funny to share with you guys and then right to our right there is our coral banded shrimp Which are my favorite out of this tank. It would be the bumblebee the lionfish and then the coral banded shrimp, just because of how like, they're just like very cool and such beneficial to the tank. They clean the rocks. When the fish eat, they'll eat the leftovers of the bigger fish. So it's pretty cool what they do. Right down below me, it's not a fish. It's actually a baby pig. Come here, baby pig. You hear her? Oh yeah. Yeah? She's a baby pig. What we're gonna be doing is clearing out this whole garage, organizing it all, and the pool pond's actually gonna go right here, right here in this corner. So we're gonna have lights. We're gonna have some very nice lights hanging down, shining on the pool pond. We'll have our filter probably in that corner. I don't know yet, it's still all coming together, but it's gonna be pretty dope guys. And I know you guys have been wanting this. I actually did a poll on YouTube like two days ago. I said, who thinks we should get a saltwater pool pond for a bumblebee grouper? I did yes or no, 93% said yes, 7% no, said no. Let's see how many votes. We had 11,000 votes and that's insane, just on a little poll that I did on my community page. If you guys haven't already, make sure you turn on your post notifications so when I do little polls like this, you'll get notified and you'll be able to vote too. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. That made me wanna do it because basically on this channel, I do what you guys wanna see. That's what I'm here for. I'm entertaining you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. You guys wanted a pool pond for the grouper? We got a pool pond for the grouper. Kevin has arrived, just got here and basically, He's gonna tell you guys on what we're gonna do with this tank and put it into detail because he, like I said, he grows coral, he sells them. So he's gonna pretty much set this whole tank up with coral. So Kevin, explain to them what we're gonna be so doing. So basically the first thing we're gonna have to do is add more of a blue spectrum to the lights. We can adjust that with the settings since they are LED. Along with that, we might or might not rework the rock work. I like how it is right now. We're gonna put a lot of soft coral, zoanthus, mushrooms, leathers, Basically, to see if the system is ready, once the system's running for probably like a year, what corals we can transition to with harder stuff yeah. like Acropora. But, dude, it's gonna look insane. Like, think, yeah, like the letter, yeah, I'm it's like so a little happy. tree, like it shoots up, and then on top it has like little tentacles coming out, and the clownfish sometimes sleep inside of them. Really? How many fish, you, how many community fish you think we can put in here? Oh, I, since it's such a big thing. If we take out all the predators, which yeah. I think you can yeah, that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, we can put a lot of fish. Usually what people do, it's, it's about like five fish per gallon, or I think it's something like that, yeah. what they do. So this is, I would say and They're gonna max. be tiny fish, but there's gonna be colorful, very colorful fish. 
Like I think you could max it out at like fifty or two or hundred fish, depending on really? size. Yeah, it's like sick. it's like it depends on how big they are. Yeah. On my tank, I had like twenty five cardinals, and they would go from one side to another side of the tank. It was so cool. Kevin's coral, his whole coral. What would you call it? Uh, Aquarium, I guess aquaculture. I yeah. Don't know. Okay, it's gonna be popping up right here. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin goes to a bunch of these coral events and it's a bunch of like saltwater stuff. And if you guys want to see a video where we go with Kevin and we film all the corals, all the fish, give this video a thumbs up. Get it to 10,000 likes. Once it hits 10,000 likes, we will go with Kevin and we will film all that. How cool is it? Dude, like, explain it's insane. It. Like, there's just, like, you know how you have like comic conventions and maybe like boat shows and car shows? Well, there's literally a convention just for coral and the aquaculture community. It's insane. Like there's probably around like 20 to 100 vendors depending on the show. Last time I went to Macna and I spent well over $10,000 on coral. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the like, coral business, it's, it's expensive. Crazy. Yeah. Like it goes it ranges from like half an inch to $1,000. Tell them about like your nothing. your like um buyers like how much they spend like on oh, the like, coral. That usually, one piece that you that you sold. Yeah, well was, I grow this one acropora and it's a rainbow splice from a reef wrap and it's two thousand dollars for a half of an inch it's literally the size of my thumb like i saw a picture i didn't believe kevin when he said it he's like dude it's like the size of a penny it's literally this big and it's going for two thousand dollars it's insane but there's also other core which aren't that expensive you can buy them for yeah. 10 5 20 dollars yeah. depending on what it is but there's always that one collector that wants the rare and that's what I do. It's I just do like fish kind of, you can buy fish for five, ten dollars and yeah. then there's the bumblebee grouper that's yeah. like a thousand dollars. Yeah. So as you guys can see, we got our pool pond, we got our 220 gallon saltwater aquarium and we are going to be transferring all these fish into this pool pond very soon. Make sure you give it a like, comment down below your favorite part of the video and also make sure you subscribe. Huge shout out to Kevin, he's going to be helping us with this process. His link will be down in the description below, go check him out. And with that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See you!